The holidays are upon us. You've got people coming over. You need to entertain. You need to feed them. What are you going to make? Quick. And I think a lot of us are going to, we're going to resort to the things that we always make. And that's good. And I love traditions as much as the next guy. But I'm going to show you two of the things that I always love to make for big, fun holiday events. The first is a beautiful, perfectly cooked prime rib. Bone in, gorgeous, five ingredients. Let me think about this now. So I think it's five ingredients. It is so delicious. It is so impressive. But... Not everybody wants me. And for those people, or for those that want to eat a little lighter, I'm also going to show you my absolutely favorite salmon that you cannot miss. It is amazing. It's delicious. Deeply flavored with herbs, and it cooks in a half an hour. You will impress everybody at the table. We start with the roast. And the star of our show is a beautiful bone-in prime rib. You might also know it as a standing rib roast. Standing rib roast because it stands up because of the bones that are here. Now look, when my mother used to make this, she seasoned it with salt and pepper and she put mustard on it and that's it. We're just gonna add two more things to that to really bring out some fabulous flavors in this. Let's start with our rub. And that will consist of yellow mustard, just like that. Next up, garlic. This is about five big cloves of garlic minced. And now the next step. Could be optional, but shouldn't be. Anchovy paste. And before you say, Sam, anchovy paste is gonna make it fishy. It's gonna be awful. I'm telling you right now, it's definitely not the best looking thing ever. But what it's going to do to bring out some amazing flavor in this is really important. Could be optional, should not be optional. It comes in and we mix. And mix well. It won't taste like mustard. It won't taste like anchovies. It'll just taste delicious. Now we can season and put on this paste. First up is kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper, and we will do this liberally, all over. And this is a big piece of meat. This is six pounds, so you can be pretty aggressive with this. Top, bottom, all over, even the fat. Doesn't stick that well to the fat, but that's okay. You'll be fine. And now our paste. Get this all around, and we're done. This beautiful little fellow is ready for the oven, which by the way, is at 450 degrees. We're gonna put it in for 20 minutes, turn the oven down to 325, and then cook it for 12 to 15 minutes a pound until it's a perfect 125 degrees in the center. My kitchen smells tremendous. It's been 20 minutes. I've just opened the oven, had a look, turned it from 450, to 325 and now we'll let it live out its time until it gets where it needs to be which for me is a hundred and a quarter now on to the salmon and the salmon six ingredients not counting salt and pepper which never count the simplest most beautiful salmon ever we begin with a bowl and the mixed herbs let's start with equal parts fresh chopped curly parsley fresh chopped dill boy i love dill and same of green onion and this will just mix together. If you could smell the freshness right from here, you'd want to make this for sure. But I think these colors give you an idea of how fantastic this is going to be. And when this is mixed up, it's time for the salmon. And there we are, a beautiful side of salmon. This piece is about two pounds. It's only going to get a couple of things. The first will be some mayo. And before you get the little squeamish and think, oh, Sam, mayonnaise on salmon, how can that be? Well, we're really using it as a binder. It will add a little moisture. It's not going to end up tasting like mayo. Just take my word for it. Next, a little spice. And at this point, I like a little drizzle of sriracha. We'll give this a quick light spread. Just a tiny bit of heat. Underneath will be the gorgeous herbs. We haven't seasoned it yet with salt and pepper. We'll do that now because we always need to. Nice light coating. And finally, our herbs nicely over the top. Look how pretty this is. You want a nice cover of the green on top of the salmon. It doesn't have to be thick. You want a nice even cover. And that, ladies and gentlemen, as they say, is all she wrote. This now goes into a 250 degree oven for 30 minutes. When it comes out, it will be luscious, tender, medium rare, and perfect. You'll see this in a minute. And here we are, wow. I know it looks essentially the same, but you can see the color change here where you can see some salmon. It's about 130 degrees, which is a perfect medium rare. So actually, let me take it off of this and put it on something pretty. Oh, that's hot. This is a challenge. Ah, little gentle releasing. Oh no, that's what I didn't want to happen. 
Okay, here's what I want you to do. When you do this, I want you to use the non-stick foil. That's the answer. Okay, I think I got this. And we're down. And so, learn from my mistakes. Use the non-stick foil. But look at this. Look how pretty that kid is. Oh, I love it. I'm in love. Okay, yeah, that was a struggle. It's a bit of a mission, but I'm okay. And now I just need a bite. I'm coming right down here. And what I want you to see is this color. Look at that. That's perfect. This is what you want. 250 degrees for a half an hour gives you that. Gorgeous medium rare salmon. And now a bite. Mm. It melts. Tiny bit of spice from the sriracha. But the freshness of the herbs. Your carnivore friends that are waiting for that beautiful prime rib to come out of the oven will take one bite of this. You will change their minds. Oh, sure, there'll be a salmon at a uh, holiday party. Who wants salmon? One bite, they'll be hooked. Hooked. And voila. Allow me to do a little Vanna White spin for you. Look at this beautiful crust that the garlic, the mustard, the anchovy paste made. It's magnificent. And by the way, it smells glorious and it smells nothing like anchovies. But so here's what we're going to do. You can see the string here. The bones were cut off by the butcher and then tied back on. And what that does is that lets you now deal with this and carve it without having to separate the bones. So here's what we do. It's 130 degrees. It's hot. So having to deal with that, it's easier if the bones are cut already off. So I'll take my scissors, cut the here. Leaning tower of prime rib. It did. It was standing beautifully by itself, and now it's leaning a bit. So I'll cut the two strings. It's a leaning roast. <laughs> Come on. Max, that's funny. <laughs> right. It's a leaning rib roast instead of a standing. Okay, here we go. This guy comes off. The joke's not funny if you have to explain it. Well, maybe somebody just tuned in. Maybe somebody came in late to the party. Now, I should be able to take my big fork like this, and now the bones... See how that's been dealt with for us? So there's a little part here. You make that final cut. Now look, you're hanging on to these because you know there's amazing eating in these. Uncle Joey, Aunt Agnes, everybody wants these. So we'll move this over. Aunt Agnes, where did that name come from? And now look what you have to deal with. Shall we? And that would look like this. I don't think you could ask for anything better than that. We cooked it to 125 degrees. We let it rest 20 minutes. It rose to 130. And now look, it is perfect. It's pink, it's juicy, it's tender. It's gonna be super flavorful. Well, I think there's only one thing to do here, lads, and that would be to have a bite. So let's do this. Let's take this gorgeous piece. I want you to have some of this outside as well, okay? Gosh, I mean, come on now. I usually don't fight for the outside, but this, all the flavor is out here, boy. Chancy, Maxwell, peace for you. Look how gorgeous. Bon appetit. Oh my God, the smell. Mm. You should see the faces. Mm. Do you get anchovy? Nope. Deliciousness. Do you get mustard? No. Nope. You get deliciousness. Wow. And I, I had a little bit of fat with mine because I like that part. Oh my gosh. All right, what have we learned here today? We've learned that you can give your guests, your family, your friends, you, a fantastic holiday meal. And both of these, the salmon and the prime rib, were about this many ingredients, maybe this many ingredients, but that's about it. It's good ingredients, put together the right way, you get outstanding results. You could make one, you could make the other. I think the proper holiday move is both. Everybody gets a lot happy, it's that simple. So from us, happy holidays. Uh, check the recipes. They're there for you. Have the best time. Right, boys? Right. Eat well. See ya.